In this video, we will explore what clean label is and why it is so popular. If you have gone grocery shopping recently, you might have noticed some familiar products with a brand new design with the words simply or made with real ingredients. Does this mean we've been eating fake ingredients? What exactly is going on? This is a trend becoming more and more popular called the clean label. While the label claim organic is specifically defined by the USDA or the US Department of Agriculture, it's not the same with clean label or natural. It is more defined by consumer trends like ingredient transparency, avoiding artificial or synthetic ingredients, and less processing. Customer demand for sustainability and ethical sourcing are also becoming part of clean labeling. According to the 2018 Innova Market Insights report, clean label claims are on 39% of new food products in the US. The most common label claims are no artificial ingredients, followed by non-GMO, organic, and natural. As consumers want to know exactly what is inside their food, companies have changed their labels and packaging to make it easier to tell. For example, many people don't want to see huge ingredient lists that sound too scientific with things like sodium benzoate, BHA, or yellow number 5. By shortening the list and using ingredients with simpler terminology, companies are trying to make it easier for customers to understand what goes in their food. In addition, some brands might switch to simplistic, minimalistic designs for their packaging with pictures of fruits, veggies, and grains to catch your eye. Let's look at an example. Hagen dazs introduced a reformulation of their ice cream with the name Five. The Five stands for five easy-to-understand familiar ingredients, milk, cream, sugar, eggs, and the flavor ingredient like coffee, mint, or vanilla bean. Along with the simple design, the package includes words such as all natural, five essential ingredients, and pure. This type of food packaging strives to be as clear as possible to the consumer, showing that the manufacturers share the same values and principles for clean food. There is a growing dislike amongst consumers for processed foods that have unfavorable ingredients such as artificial colors, artificial preservatives, or additives like MSG. Another example is how Kraft removed artificial colors from their mac and cheese by using spices like paprika, annatto, and turmeric instead of yellow 5 and yellow 6 for its characteristic color. Specialty stores focused on healthful foods such as Whole Foods or Trader Joe's have a list of unacceptable ingredients that include things that people might not want to see on the label. Food manufacturers must adhere to this list in order for these stores to sell their product. So does clean labeling actually make a difference in terms of eating healthy? Well, not exactly. While some clean label products might imply some inherent goodness, there isn't much difference nutritionally in most cases. Foods with all natural and real ingredients can still be packed with sugar, salt, and saturated fat, which can all lead to disorders like dis diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease if overconsumed. In the end, there's nothing wrong with seeking out foods with clean labels. The intention behind having transparency for customers is a good thing. But an important point to keep in mind is that anything and everything that goes into your food is studied extensively and approved to be safe by the FDA or the Food and Drug Administration, even if they're artificial or hard to pronounce.